Hi, this is Steve for RF Duino. Today we are going to take a look at how to communicate wirelessly between RF Duinos. While Bluetooth Low Energy enables communication between a device and a mobile phone or computer, Peripheral Mode does not support communication between devices. So a different wireless communication protocol must be used. To communicate between RF Duinos, we can use Gazelle, a wireless network protocol that allows a host to communicate with up to eight devices in a star network topology. The Gazelle protocol combines a 2 megabit per second data rate and channel hopping to provide a fast, reliable wireless link. Gazelle requires no connection packets to set up a link and devices can enter and exit the network at any time. Gazelle works like this. In a Gazelle network, the device is responsible for initiating communication. Each packet that a device sends must be acknowledged by the host. Additionally, the host can piggyback data onto the acknowledgement, which allows data to flow in both directions. Gazelle automatically handles packet retransmission if necessary. RF Duino has provided some examples demonstrating different data flows in a Gazelle network. In the first example, data flows in the standard direction from the device to the host. When button A is pressed on the device, the button state is sent to the host. The host then sends an acknowledgement back to the device. In the second example, data flows from the host to the device. Since this isn't directly supported by the protocol, the device must initiate the communication by sending a zero-byte transmission, effectively polling the host. The host can then send the button state with the acknowledgement back to the device. In the third example, data flows from device to device through an intermediary host. When button A is pressed on device zero, the button state is sent and stored on the host. Later, device 1 polls the host for the button state, which is sent back to device 1 along with the acknowledgement. The fourth example turns on the green LED of the device that is closest to the host. In this example, each device transmits a zero byte packet to the host so that the host can sample the RSSI value. The host then averages the RSSI samples collected over the last second to stabilize the value and selects the device that is closest. The device selected is then communicated back to each device on the acknowledgement. The fifth example demonstrates how to integrate Bluetooth Low Energy and Gazelle. The RF Duino waits on a Bluetooth Low Energy connection from the LED button iPhone app. After connection, the RF Duino detects the button press from the iPhone app. Since two stacks cannot be run on the same silicon at the same time, the RF Duino must stop the Bluetooth stack ending the connection. The RF Duino then starts a Gazelle stack and sends the current button state to the host. After the host acknowledges the transmission, the RF Duino can stop the Gazelle stack and restart the Bluetooth stack. The silicon manufacturer does not ship the source code for Gazelle. RF Duino has provided a small, easy to use wrapper for Gazelle called Lib RF Duino GZLL. The source code for the wrapper is provided in the source directory of RF Duino. Thank you for watching.